up guys, in this video let's check out the full review of the super budget mid-ranger Xiaomi Redmi Note 4, 4 gig 64 GB version, a quick unboxing and stuff like this and to do scores, gaming and camera performance. So let's get started. On opening the box, apart from the phone itself, you just have some paperwork, warranty information, a travel adapter and a micro USB data cable. I don't expect anything more than this because as it is, the pricing is already so aggressively low with the highest 4GB variant with 64 gigs of storage being only 13,000 Indian rupees. Now coming to the build quality, it is made of a metal unibody with a lighter version of champagne gold at the sides and back. And even though the front is white and not gold, it does exude a premium feel to it, just like the flagship Mi 5S Plus. The new shiny strip of anodized aluminium at the top and bottom adds to the premium look of the design. There is no mention about the type of glass production used, but anyways the 2.5D glass and the tapered edges at the back makes the phone ergonomic and comfortable to hold in hand. Weight distribution is also good and it doesn't feel at all heavy at 165 grams. The design language and color makes it look more like a Xiaomi flagship rather than a mid-ranger. If only it had chamfered edges, but then this isn't a flagship. Next talking of the performance, in normal day-to-day -day operations like browsing the net, using apps, gaming, taking calls or simply listening to music, I have not yet faced any kind of lag. So performance wise, it is a big win. The 14 nanometer FinFET based Snapdragon 625 chipset seems to be leaps ahead compared to its budget 430 processor. And even better than a 650 chipset present on a Redmi Note 3, at least in regards to battery life and heating during normal use in gaming. It could run the heaviest games with ease and the best part is that the device did not even break a sweat. After about 30 minutes of heavy gaming with Nova 3 and Asphalt 8, the battery temperature was just 35.7 degrees. So serious gamers can enjoy a lag free gaming experience on this cool device without any heating issues. The 1080p display quality is very decent with good viewing angles and there is no issue of outdoor visibility in daylight conditions. We just need to turn on auto brightness. The battery life is nothing short of awesome. The 4100 mAh battery due to the 14 nanometer 625 chipset lasts longer and heats up much less compared to the 650. A light to medium user will be unable to kill the battery within a day. I could get a screen on time of about 7.5 to 8.5 hours on a regular basis making the Redmi Note 4 ideal for heavy users. The sound quality while making or receiving calls is clear and audible. The camera uses a 30 megapixel CMOS sensor with face detection autofocus and a 25% larger pixel area is supposed to capture more light which in theory should improve low light photography. So let's have a look at some photos and video footage to check out if the camera is actually better than the Redmi Note 3. Overall camera quality is pretty good in daylight conditions and okay to below average in low light scenarios. And as a rule you can't expect a smartphone to take DSLR like photos in low light because of the small form factor and tiny sensor. You can expect acceptable low light photography only from the likes of some flagships like the Google Pixel or iPhone 7. And as you saw in the sample video footage, you can get some very decent video quality. 
though the quality of the front facing camera is just about average. The ringtone volume via the downward firing speaker on the right is pretty audible with a good sharpness to it. The downward position of the speaker is much better compared to the one at the back like in the Redmi Note 3 since there are less chances of it getting blocked while placing on a bed or such. Audio quality via the 3.5mm headphone jack is pretty loud and clear and sounds even better with the inbuilt Mi sound enhancer and graphic equalizers. Though strangely when connected to the car stereo, the equalizer and enhancer did not get activated as it does with other Xiaomi phones, though I'm sure a small OTR update can fix this. As usual, Xiaomi has not skimmed on any sensors and there are 41 in total. Apart from NFC, all the important ones like the auto brightness, gyroscope and also infrared for remote control functions are present. The Redmi Note 4 is undeniably a great buy with the best price to performance ratio as of now. The soon to release Vivo V5 Plus with the same 625 chipset will be double in price though it may have a better camera. It is difficult to fault this smartphone too much as it has far more advantages than cons. I definitely recommend the Redmi Note 4 to anyone who wants flagship like performance with awesome battery life, decent camera and premium looks at an unbeatable price. That's it for now, don't forget to press like and the free subscribe button for more useful videos on the Redmi Note 4 and other tech reviews. Thanks for watching, keep the peace and catch you next time.